2011 is going to be a big year for forests around the world. The United Nations has designated 2011 as International Year of Forests. So it provides a great opportunity to raise awareness about the many reasons that forests are important, both to particular communities around the world, but also to societies and the global community at large. Fortuitously, the politics of forests, both at national levels and globally, are really coming to a watershed moment this year. And so the confluence of having an international year of the forests in the same year that these issues are already really hot provides an extraordinary opportunity. I might even say a tipping point to really make a fundamental change in the way forests are managed. The reason that we're at this tipping point is that in the last few years, forests have become appreciated for the role that they play in mitigating global climate change. Now, those of us who've been working on forestry issues for several decades know that forests are important in many other ways. They are important for local livelihoods. There are hundreds of millions of people around the world who get an important part of their diet, an important part of their energy supply, an important part of their cash income from various products from the forests. We've also known for a long time that forests are one of the most important places for storing the world's biological diversity, and that with the loss of forests, we lose genetic information, for example, that is encoded in the wild relatives of important agricultural crops that, that we will certainly need uh, to improve crops with a changing climate. But it's only recently that forests have been appreciated for their role in storing carbon and that when forests are burned or degraded or converted to other uses, a large volume of carbon is released into the atmosphere so as to accelerate global climate change. And it's just within the last few years that it's become clear that maintaining a global climate with a change of less than two degrees Celsius is really impossible if you don't reduce the rate of deforestation. Over the last few years, um, we at C4 have been putting an increasing amount of investment and staff time and, and strategic thinking into how we can better mobilize our research results to use them to inform policy making related to forests, as well as to empower various practitioners who are on the front lines of managing forests um, to do a better job in reducing the underlying causes of deforestation and degradation, but also implementing some of the positive solutions um, that have been the subject of our research. So International Year of Forests provides a great opportunity for us to really build on that investment and, and up our game in the various outreach vehicles that we've been building platforms for over the last couple of years. One thing that I, I try to convey to new staff at C4, and especially young people who may not appreciate just how special the current moment is, this is a wonderful time to be working on forest issues and a wonderful time to be working at an organization like C4. There was a peak of international interest in especially tropical forestry issues in the late 80s, early 90s that culminated in the Earth Summit in Rio. And at that time, there was a lot of interest in tropical biodiversity and on the cultural diversity of indigenous peoples that lived in the rainforest. And, you know, it was a time of real excitement about, about forest issues. But after the Earth Summit, after a few years, the world's attention started to, to wane and the world moved on and perhaps to a certain degree because of frustration that the programs that were tried didn't work, um, but also just being eclipsed by other new issues that came onto the public agenda. But just in the last five years, that has turned around completely mainly due to this new appreciation of the critical role of forests uh, related to climate change mitigation, but also we would stress adaptation to climate change, which is still relatively underappreciated. But in any case, you know, suddenly there is incredible political attention to, to forests. I mean, we have heads of state talking about forests. The president of Indonesia flying to Oslo to meet the head of state there to sign a, a bilateral agreement on cooperation uh, on forests. We have the president of Mexico giving an impassioned speech on the underlying drivers of deforestation at Forest Day in Cancun. 
Um, we have significant financial resources being committed from government budgets, through multilateral organizations, through the private philanthropic sector, private sector organizations willing to make investments in this. It doesn't get better than this. This is a perfect storm of political attention and finance and political will that, you know, if we can use it, it really is, for the first time in my lifetime, you know, an opportunity to really make a step change in how forests are managed around the world. So we've really got to grasp the opportunity and make the most of it.